brass documentation has rapidly changed over the past few years. Um, we used to only have saline implants and silicone implants, basically by two different companies. And those silicone implants were round in shape, and those are considered a fourth generation silicone implants. But nowadays, we actually have uh, hundreds of different types of implants by three major manufacturers in, uh, in the United States. So those three companies are uh, Sientra, our mentor, and our Allergan. So with these newer fifth generation silicone implants, the leak rate is thought to be less. Uh, oftentimes we're trending more towards a textured implant, and a textured is actually the surface feel of it. It's thought to kind of integrate a little bit more into the tissue and help prevent some rotation. It is possible that it might decrease uh, the rate of capsular contracture or a scar tissue that can form around the implant. But also with these implants, we go from a round implant, which is a very, very nice implant, and we still use this type of implant for a woman that really wants more upper pole fullness, to basically um, a shaped implant. So these are shaped or anatomic implants. Um, other words uh, for them are gummy bear, cohesive, ultra uh, cohesive, high strength. So many, th the three different companies basically have, you know, their catchphrases. But basically, they're silicone implants and they have an outer silicone um, shell. The nice thing about these is that now we can tailor this type of implant to the patient's anatomy. Let's say for this implant, you want to fill a little bit more of the, uh, they're longer chested, you know, long distance here, and they want to fill a little bit more of the upper pole of the breast, but not make it look too full. Um, so not make it look too augmented, kind of a natural breast look. Um, Mentor also makes a whole different uh, line of implants that are shaped implants. And then Allergan also makes different uh, implants as well. So Sientra, Mentor, and Allergan all carry the shaped uh, implants. And they're very nice FDA approved uh, implants. And what I do during consultation is I let you see and touch and feel. And ultimately, the patient you know, gets to decide. But what I find oftentimes these days is that patients get overwhelmed. They're, they uh, they don't know which one to choose. So we carefully measure patients during um, the examination and do a good breast exam. But I'm measuring, you know, the base width of the breast, how wide the breast is, because I'm looking for dimensions of, you know, properly selecting a different uh, type of implant. So I'm having to guide patients even more than ever before. Uh, oftentimes we do our traditional sizing with a patient, which means that you can come into the office and we can do the sizing with different types of implants. But also we have a program called Chrysalix, which is a really nice program. So we can take a one dimensional picture of you and then we can render it um, in three dimensions uh, to create uh, what you might look like after surgery. So this is for fun only. It's no guarantee of outcome, but it's totally for fun. So you can actually try on different styles or types uh, and sizes of implants and you can see what it looks like. So we put a bathing suit on this gal uh, today, but I wanted you to see what this might look like. So this is the gal before, and this is the gal after breast augmentation. But remember, this is a computer-generated you know, program, so this isn't really after surgery, but it's showing you what it might look like at about three to six months after you have the procedure. So what has changed you know, in the past few years since I started practice in 2001? A lot. Now we have three different implant companies. We have multiple different shapes and sizes. We do our traditional sizing, but we also do Chrysalix. And I think sometimes in combination with all those things that uh, patients are finding it a little bit more confusing, but our goal is to help guide you through the process of your own selection. <music>